And then the last thing, with eight seconds to go, if you're married, then you need to water your own grass. And I do not mean in your yard. I mean on your marriage bed. You say, Pastor telling me to have more sex? He is. He's telling you to have more sexual experiences with your spouse. And if you're, if you're married and you have kids, you need to show your kids the beauty and the wonder and the satisfaction that married sex brings. Married sex, good. Non-married sex, bad. Wait till you're married and say it over and over and over again. Now the Bible does not say how much sex is enough to have a good marriage, but what the Bible does say, 1 Corinthians 7, is that your body does not belong to you. Your body belongs to your spouse, that you ought not deprive one another except for a time for prayer and fasting. But I gather that most of us don't do a lot of fasting, so probably need to have more sex. And now I'm serious, listen to me. Your spouse, ladies, you are the only source of sexual satisfaction for your husband according to God's design. Yeah, he can go get it elsewhere, but it's sin in his life. You are the only source of sexual satisfaction that God has set up. Men, you are the only source of sexual satisfaction for your spouse, and if that's true, then would it not be wise, would it not subvert sex, would it not be weird to say, you know what, all my friends are only doing it once a month, we're gonna do it twice a week. Ooh, getting crazy. (laughs) Water your grass, and imagine, Imagine if we all, as a community of redeemed sinners, said, you know what? We are gonna put forward a positive, compelling vision of sexuality. It's not dirty, nasty, do it only when you have to. It's not something that we're controlled by and consumed by that's dominated us, that's controlling us. No, we have been redeemed by the gospel. We are controlled by our intimacy, our spiritual intimacy with our heavenly Father, which flows out of our faith through his one and only Son. And because of the intimacy that we have with him in a spiritual sense, we are able to give our wife, my wife, my husband, the physical intimacy that I know that he needs or that I know that she needs. Imagine if we had those kind of marriages in this church. Imagine what we could do in this city with that kind of compelling vision for sex. It could change the world. So what about you?